And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a smoky eye. This is just a simple smoky eye. I uh, tried to make it as matte as I could. Um, I used a little bit of like a like a satin color, so it has a little bit of a sheen to it. But that was just on the lids, um, but and underneath my eyebrows uh, as a highlight. But other than that, it's just like a nice smooth smoky eye. <laughs> So if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Liz and I make beauty and fashion videos. I post around like every Tuesday or Thursday, or at least I try to, I'm trying to get on a schedule. Um, so yeah, if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel and we can be friends and you can watch my videos and stuff and cool, yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, then we have a floaty button that says subscribe somewhere around here as well as my social media links you can follow me on as well uh, yeah also before I go I also want to let you guys know that I will be selling these chokers right here on Etsy and they're gonna be really cheap they're probably gonna be around like uh, four or five dollars depending on how long it is um, the most expensive ones probably gonna be like twelve dollars they're all handmade by me and I got like the jewels and everything this is the birthstone collection so I may so I have an emerald so cute so if you're interested in that my link will be down below and you can go and purchase one we can be friends we can all have matching chokers and it'll be really really cute all right so that is it so let's get on to this tutorial first thing I'm gonna be doing is priming my eye with max Nubel. I'm sorry guys I believe this is a limited edition color but any matte paint pot will work Next I'm going to be taking my MAC's Warm Neutral Palette, and you guys know I love this palette so so much. I'm going to be taking the color Brulee, and I'm going to apply that right onto my lids. So next with a Morphe E22 brush, I'm going to be taking this color which is called Saddle. Once again from the Warm Neutral Palette and I'm going to be applying that onto my crease very, very lightly as you can see. I'm like hardly putting any pressure on my eye and I'm just going to make this like a very light transition shade and build up onto that because you don't want to, you know, put the darkest color on first. You want to make it very light and then build it. Now with a MAC Keepsake palette, this was like an old palette that I had, um, it was one of their collections. I'm going to take the color Mystery and I'm going to apply that right into my crease as well. Once again, I'm building up the color, so I want to take the lightest colors and then build them up from there. Also, I wanted to mention that if you don't have these colors, it's totally okay. Just as long as you get something similar, like this is a light brown, you just need a light brown to put into your crease. You also want to just keep on blending. There's nothing better than doing a smoky eye than just to just sit there and blend out your shadows. <laughs> so next I'm going to be taking the color Dance in the Dark and I'm going to be applying that to my outer corners and a little bit into my crease. This is when you start to really build up the color, so you can do it as dark as you want or as light as you want. Right now I'm just going as light as I can and once again I'm just building up that color to make it more smoky. Every now and then you want to take a clean fluffy brush and just kind of blend everything out just to make sure everything looks good. So next I'm going to take Max Espresso and I'm going to take this Tarte brush 
it's an old brush I'm sorry guys but I like it because it has a pointed end to it and I'm just going to go right into my crease I really like using brown colors in with smoky eyes because I think it helps balance the black and the brown to make it not so harsh it's gonna make it look more natural Next, I'm going to take the colors Hay and Warm Breeze. I'm going to mix those two together and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this. I'm just taking a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 217 SE brush and I'm going to be applying that right below my brows. I'm also going to put in my inner corners just to brighten up my eyes a little bit more. <laughs> So next I'm taking the Bermuse Beauty, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm so sorry guys. I'm going to take the color Showstopper, which is just a dark brown black color, and I'm going to apply that on my outer corners. This is when we're really starting to smoke out the look, so yes, it's going to look nice and smoky eyed now. So going back to the more neutral palette, I'm going to be taking Dance in the Dark and Dark Brew and I'm going to just apply that right underneath my eyes and this is just also going to help smoke out the look. I didn't want to use a black or anything to make it really really dark because I still want my eyes to look like kind of bright as well and make it look more awake and so this is more of like a natural look for a smoky eye. Now I'm taking the color Honey Lust and I'm just going to apply that just a little bit onto my lids. I wanted to make this look more matte but in the end I just love shimmer and shine and everything so of course I had to put a little bit of a sparkle to this look. So here I'm taking Maybelline's Gel Eyeliner and let me tell you I'm not good at applying eyeliner on camera. So I'm going to have to take two seconds and just apply it off camera, especially with gel because I'm not used to gel. But there's the finished look. <laughs> so there's the products that I use, the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and also the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. I really love this. I did get the one with the sparkles in it though. I had to get the matte one. Oh, I, mean, I can't believe I did that. But yes, I love it still though. <laughs> Next, I'm taking the Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. This mascara is life. I love it so, so much. And I'm just coating my lashes with that. And then also, I'm going to be applying fake eyelashes. Um, it's kind of like a new thing. I've been like obsessing over fake eyelashes. So tell me down below what your favorite fake eyelashes are. I really want to try Coco's Queen Bee. But these ones I'm going to be applying are Cara Lashes. I got them for a really good price on Amazon, so I'll link that down below. And next I'm taking the Aqua Eyes by Makeup Forever, I believe. And I'm just lining my eyes very lightly. I didn't want to, once again, make it too, too dark or anything. Because I wanted it to be like a more of a natural smoky eye. Here I'm taking Urban Decay's Vince Lipstick in the color Safe Word. I'm just applying this onto my lips and of course I'm going to be uh, double applying with some Kylie lip kits. I got the mini mattes and I love it and I believe this is the color Coco K and if it's not I will leave an annotation or like the right color down below. I always get them mixed up Coco K and Candy K but I'm pretty sure it's Coco K. <laughs> So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be a floaty button right over here. Tell me what you want to see more of. I'm going to be doing some more makeup tutorials. I'm going to try to get more into fashion as well. Um, if you want me to talk about my experience with school, like I can definitely do that as well because I'm a fashion design major, just graduated, so I know all about it. <laughs> So also my friend Maddie made a channel. I'm so excited. I finally have someone that like I know that's making a channel and I'm like, so I'm just so excited. She's going to be doing a lot of fashion videos as well as cooking. She cooks really, really awesome food. So uh, she decided to like incorporate that as well. She recently just opened up a channel. So I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can go and subscribe to her. Tell her I sent you and said hello. All right, so that is it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.